other restaurants forced to close for health hazards. One of them's been in trouble with the state before. News Channel 5's Jared Worksma shows you where you might be dirty dining. Jared? Bonacino Cafe and Porto Bella Italian restaurant were both forced to close their doors by state inspectors temporarily last week. Both restaurants back open now. Both restaurants with a message for their customers. We started with a visit to Bonacino Cafe in the Boca Raton Mall. Is there a manager I can talk to about the uh, state inspection here? State inspectors spotted 10 high priority violations here, including pesticides stored with food. Live roaches and roach eggs. So, what was done to take care of like the roach activity? Uh, just basically deep cleaning. Manager William Leonard wasn't shy about answering our questions. Okay, so you did have that pest control come in? Yeah, yeah, we had a team come in okay. throughout the night. I took immediate action to change everything around here and, you know, make it a, not just a cleaner but a safer place to eat. Next, we headed north to Porto Bella Italian Restaurant in Boynton Beach. Jared Worksman, News Channel 5. Here, state inspectors reported raw meat stored over ready to eat food, as well as dead and live roaches. What did you think when the state told you this? We're saddened by it. We want to fix it. Suzanne Scarpola says Portobello takes every violation seriously. This is my husband's place. He's been here 28 years. He's a hard worker. Yet a public record search shows Portobello has been fined $3,000 by the state for various violations in the last six years all prior to last week's closure. We have loyal customers and we we don't want to lose them. We want them to come back and know that, you know, we're doing whatever it takes. All right, now both Bonacino and Portobello passed their follow-up inspections. Managers at both restaurants say they don't plan to be on dirty dining again. Now to see how your favorite restaurants fared this week, check out the database provided by our news partners at tcpalm.com. I'm Jared Worksman, WPTV News Channel 5.